Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's been a minute. That's what they say these days, isn't it? Actually, it's been a really long time, but supposedly when you say it's been a minute, it means that. I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> anyway, so glad to be sitting down doing a video. If you've seen me on Instagram, you've seen my post picture, you've seen me go and do a video shoot, and I thought, okay, since I'm already dressed and kind of made up, let me just make a video. So anyway, for those who don't know who I am, hi. Salam alaikum, as I always say, which means peace be upon you. And welcome to my channel. My name is Maya, also known as The Sewist, but I'm recently kind of doing a little rebranding and just going by my name, Maya Al Said, thinking of changing my YouTube channel as well to Maya Al Said. But we'll see how that goes. I'm taking it step by step, as they say. So. Today's topic is going to be about, I mean, me giving advice as always, about relationships. If you have been with me for a long time, then you would have known that I've been divorced and I recently got married approximately two years ago, alhamdulillah. And I'm getting lots of questions on my, like, how did I overcome the divorce? How did I meet my husband? And uh, how did the kids adjust to my husband and all of that and inshallah with time I would address each and every one of your questions however I want to start with the fact of starting over your life in terms of thinking of getting into another relationship when I first got divorced the last thing honestly I wanted to do was jump into another relationship and I think that not only applies to relationships in general but marriage in particular you've just ended a marriage with a person the last thing you want to do is okay let me just bounce off to the other person i i don't think so i uh, i personally think you need time for yourself you need time to heal you need time to understand and just digest everything that's going on in your life you need to know what you want it's absolutely normal to just want to have some time out just to sit with yourself and get to know who you are again. Because being with somebody changes you if you want to admit it or not. I think it does. It has changed me. And I don't want to really think about all the negatives that whatever that relationship has. I just want to think about the learnings. So you have to sit down with yourself and think, okay, from that relationship I have learned what I don't want and make a list, mental, write it down, whatever works for you. So it's totally normal not to want to jump into a relationship. Don't let other people influence you to thinking, no, there's this guy, you know, you need someone else. No, you don't need somebody else. You've just ended a marriage. The last thing you want to do is jump into a commitment. If you should commit to anything, commit to yourself. That's my advice. Secondly, when is the right time? Nobody can answer that question but you. You will know when you're ready. And you have to be ready for the right reasons. You're not ready because you're lonely. You're not ready because you lack a need. And you know what I mean. You're not ready because somebody is pushing you. You're ready when you feel you're ready. However that may be, you might find yourself at peace with, you, with yourself. You might find yourself thinking of your potential. That tells you you're ready, but it has to be for the right reasons. Because if you are going to jump into a relationship because you're, feel, you're feeling lonely, then you might not be really thinking of this person. You, you're just trying to fill a void in your life. And anyone can fill that void if you don't really seek what you really want in a person in terms of their character, in terms of their personality in terms of what you really need as a partner in life so don't just think of it from one point of view and one drive look at it as a holistic look at it from all areas this person how is he different from the person that I had before for example this person why am I really attracted to him is it for the right reasons and so on and so forth and then there is how can I trust again which is the big the biggest question is how can I trust again? One thing you have to realize is this person that you're getting to know is not X, Y, and Z, is not somebody else. It's actually them. So you cannot 
come and compare them to somebody else just as you wouldn't we wouldn't want to be compared to somebody else it just makes sense give them the benefit of the doubt treat this person as a clean slate they have done nothing wrong to you so why would you assume the worst there are things that you can ask and find out how they would react how they think about a certain topic maybe something that's dear to your heart um, for example one of the questions that I asked my potential husband when we first uh, got to know each other is that he if he minded that I was on social media and because this is important to me and I really want to grow and continue and serving and inspiring people online and if he had a problem with that then that would mean I am not going to be myself and I'm not going to enjoy the things I do so this is just a a question or a way for you to know how you want this person to be because you have to be yourself ultimately if not then you find yourself lost and you look back in the mirror and not realize who you are anymore because your whole aim is to please your husband anyway that's a whole different topic let me know if you want to talk about that um, the power of being yourself um, even in a relationship and not giving in just to pleasing let me know if that's something you want you know what to do just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want me to talk to address this issue um, sorry if I seem to be blabbering it's just because honestly I don't sit in do points and discussion and all of that I just come sit have a topic in mind I look at this camera as it's a, a human being that's sitting in front of me and I'm just giving them advice I'm not an expert in relationships nor am I a marriage counselor I am just Maya the life coach <laughs> who just speaks from her heart and hope it reaches your heart um, so that's basically all I have to say in this regard. I don't think there's anything else. And if it does, well, I have to make another video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video and follow me on my social media platforms. I'm wishing you a blessed day and mostly an inspiring life because you deserve it. See you in my next video. Bye.